Hi, you're listening to Two Dumb Babies, an animated current events podcast by two comedians who only read headlines. This week, Two Dumb Babies discuss healthcare, where even if you make it to the hospital, you're still fucked. Pharmacists are basically just drug dealers with a degree. At least drug dealers don't require an expensive doctor's note. Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Blue Pills, baby. Let's party. You know why doctors sell us these pills? The same reason anyone does it. Because there's money in it. If your buddy that sold drugs in high school just had a lab coat, he'd be in college right now. Most doctors have, like, a huge loan to pay back. Like, if you're super in debt, you'll sell whatever. Yeah, that's true. You'd be like, yeah, I'll sell. You want these pills for $20 a pop? Then fine. Like, that's fine. You want this lab coat? Purdue Pharma is who sells most of the Oxycontin to the Doctors of America. They're like a bigger kingpin than El Chapo ever was. And nobody's wearing Purdue Pharma (laughs) t-shirts. Yeah, no one's like free Purdue. Even the CEO is probably like, I'm not going to advertise that I work with this company. (laughs) (laughs) The CEO also has tunnels out of his building to escape (laughs) the second we realize that he's a super criminal. (laughs) He may be wearing El Chapo shirts. (laughs) (laughs) Big Pharma's a big fan of Big Papa. (laughs) I love it when you call me Big Farm. <laughs> yeah, big anything. <laughs> generally, <laughs> generally trying to sell you drugs. <laughs> yeah, rappers shout out El Chapo all the time, but I've never heard one shout out for Purdue Pharma in like a fucking future song. Don't doctors have to take an oath to like do no harm? Yeah, cops do too. <laughs> like it matters at all. Yeah, I guess they have that like protect and serve one or something. What type of cop? Uh, our tire blew out on the way up this mountain, and he's like, "Hey, this is a pretty dangerous place to pull over." And he left. And he- <laughs> 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 I'm I don't, like, thank you. <laughs> he kind of served. He thought about protecting, and then he decided not to serve. He's like, I would, uh, I would help you right now, but I've got someone to go murder up on the top of this <laughs> <Yeah>. mountain. <laughs> I heard there's a kid with a water gun walking around a park. <laughs> go see if my gun works. <laughs> yeah. See which, see which one beats what. Yeah. <laughs> water versus uh, <laughs> gunpowder. Yeah, I'm gonna go play rock paper scissors with this kid's life. Bullet wins again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bullet still beats water. <laughs> Anyone else? They keep saying they're gonna give us water guns at the precinct, but <laughs> keep showing them these are better. <laughs> yeah, they changed the. Uh, the emoji to water guns, but they didn't change the thing that's actually killing people to water yeah. guns. <laughs> yeah, but now it's like less scary in text. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's harder to threaten your school over text. <laughs> now you got to yeah. call like the fucking like a like the classics used to. Yeah, now doing the shoot me in the head emoji just looks like I'm like it's hot out. You want to have a water gun fight? Hey, my uh, my friend's uh, kid is turning one. <laughs> Come play at the park. Everyone in a court of law also has to take an oath to, like, tell the truth. But that's not a good way to stay out of jail. Yeah, that's not why you're in court, is to (laughs) to be like, well, these people need to get to the bottom of this. If court was just (laughs) telling the truth, we probably wouldn't need lawyers. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) When are we finally going to realize that oaths don't work and are stupid? (laughs) Yeah, oaths don't have any consequences for breaking them. If they did, they'd be a law. Oaths are like the prayers of the law. You can say them all you want, but they don't actually mean anything. Isn't that what brought down the mafia? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it was believing that oaths were... Anything more than words. (laughs) We've made some incredible strides in medicine from prescribing cocaine and heroin in the 1800s to prescribing Xanax and Oxycontin today. We got better tools and procedures now, but same old heroin. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this stuff's just great. (laughs) When you're right, you're right, you know? Yeah, don't fuck with grandma's recipe. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she. it's adding heroin to anything. (laughs) Man, this sandwich tastes like shit. Like, yeah, but have you smoked heroin first? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, never mind, it's pretty good. You're eating your hand. Yeah, yeah, it tastes fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Cuban sandwich. I'm Cuban. At least surgery's gotten better over the years. Like, doctors used to use saws, you know, like a lumberjack. Yeah, like the outdoor games. <laughs> <laughs> they use the same tools as the outdoor games. How fast can you saw off this person's arm? <laughs> Bone saws used to be a medical tool used on living people. <laughs> oh, the doctor's here. Thank God he could saw off my leg. That's what I'm needing. And to help the pain, a stick to bite on. Wait, this is a bone. Whose bone is this? Oh, God, it's someone else's leg. Yeah, we found that uh, bone's much stronger than sticks. People kept biting through the sticks. Why did it take so long to invent smaller tools? Um, Small tools are for ladies. We're doctors. <laughs> <laughs> it took like a medical revolution to be like, hey, maybe we shouldn't use giant saws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do we have a smaller saw? <laughs> yeah, the Whoever whoever first asked for smaller tools, they got called a pussy. They're like, you <laughs> yeah. pussy, you can't, can't handle the bone you saw. You fucking coward. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't handle the WWE bone saw. <laughs> I don't want to be suplexed. I want you to fix me. <laughs> you can't use a bone saw, you got to use the pile driver. <laughs> like, do we have anything that isn't 
a painful name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't why don't any of these tools sound like they're actually gonna help me? They all sound more painful. <laughs> Can we get like a scalpel? It's like, what do you mean, like for food? <laughs> <laughs> like a fork? <laughs> <laughs> like a butter knife or something? What do you want? <laughs> butter knife's not even gonna cut through your bone. <laughs> like, what if you left this the guy. bone? What if you just like healed the bone? <laughs> like, that sounds like magic. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. <laughs> He's a witch. Burn him. <laughs> I don't want a doctor who's overcharging me, but at the same time, I also don't want a doctor who drives a worse car than me. <laughs> Better not. If I see a Nissan Sentra pulling up and that's the guy who's going to save my life, I'm going to be like, let's, uh, is there someone else? Is there someone better? Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to actually have to see that degree you're supposed to have hanging on the wall. <laughs> What's it say on it? <laughs> is that a 2005 Sentra? God damn it. <laughs> I'm totally going to die. Did you go to DeVry? This is, <laughs> <laughs> is this a master class on doctoring? He, he ate all the painkillers before he got here. There's no painkillers left for me. <laughs> Calls himself a Healy guy on his business card. <laughs> You're like, a doctor? He's like, that's the word. I couldn't, I couldn't think of that. I don't want medical advice from a doctor with roommates. <laughs> like, hey, shut up. They're my nurses. <laughs> Leave them alone. They're also scrubs. They're a bunch of scrubs. They don't have any uh, money or a job. <laughs> oh, what are they wearing? Sweatpants. They're wearing sweatpants. <laughs> but they are scrubs. <laughs> also doctors. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> Tyler Scalpel. <laughs> See, doesn't that sound like a doctor? <laughs> you have nothing to be worried about. Here, take this Oxycontin. <laughs> yeah. Tyler, give me that bone saw. <laughs> I don't know anything about <laughs> small surgeries. <laughs> yeah. Tyler, hammer. <laughs> <laughs> give me a bone saw and an iron. Is that a toolbox that you brought? <laughs> Tools, medical equipment, same thing. <laughs> I don't have any uh, painkillers. I do have some white claw in the fridge. <laughs> White Claw, you know, it really, it gets rid of the emotional pain, at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your arm's probably still going to be broken, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> no one ever wants to grow up to work in insurance. Just one day after college, you're like, sure, my morals are flexible. Yeah, I don't really have ethics. <laughs> <laughs> ethics just hold me back. You know, like friends who stop me from driving after I drank too much. Yeah, it's time to go where all the money is. Sick people who need you. You know, people who don't have a choice. That's our business model. You know, like a hostage. <laughs> our business model is based on a hostage situation in a bank. Except for no one is coming for you, and we own the bank. <laughs> yeah, you're you're more of the monetary value in the bank <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that we buy and trade. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the money in the vault. You're not the people in the bank. <laughs> you're what's being stolen. People who become insurance agents are like people who almost went to medical school. And they're like, I can just fuck people without doing all this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like becoming a bookie instead of a professional football player. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you know where all the real money is? Yeah. Taking it from other people <laughs> instead of being good at God, something. Playing a sport is so hard. <laughs> I'd rather just steal the money from these suckers who wish they could play the sport. <laughs> just call insurance what it is, a breathing tax. You're betting on getting sick. You have to bet on yourself. You're like, here's a bunch of money. I'm probably going to need help. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to die. Oh, this is this feels like it's against my interest. <laughs> Couldn't I invest this on like a healthier lifestyle or something? <laughs> yeah, at least the mafia would protect you actually. Yeah, the <laughs> like, <laughs> when you're paying them for they were extorting you for shit. Mafia is better insurance than any insurance, for sure. <laughs> like can you go into that hospital and just threaten them <laughs> yeah, no, i guess we actually yeah you're that's... covered for threats you're covered for murders yeah <laughs> no messages though. Yeah. we may also <laughs> be the ones who break your legs but, <laughs> but at least you don't have a copay yeah <laughs> i'd rather pay the mafia if i knew mafia people i would pay them over insurance yeah 100 <laughs> percent. there's no annoying like robot you have to call to get your policy it's always it's always veto man he's always there i don't send any money to state farm uncle tony however <laughs> <laughs> Please, Uncle Tony, I just need a little more time on my dentist premium. <laughs> These new teeth, they're going to get me that acting job I need to pay you back next month. <laughs> Please, Tony. Please, Tony, I need my arm to be fixed so I can work. I can't make any money to pay you if my arm's broken. Hey, I'll break your other arm for fucking coming in here like this. <laughs> you disrespected me and the family. We're in the middle of dinner. It's always dinner here. <laughs> yeah, it's always dinner. It's always my daughter's wedding also. <laughs> Please, Tony, a little more time. I got my copay right here. The premium's gone up. My deductible's only $200 a month. Tony, please. <laughs> <laughs> I got a real strong deductible here. Hey, I'm deductible in here. <laughs> Doctors are the only people you have to pay just to attempt their job. Yeah, I've never asked for like a burrito and had the cook be like, eh, there's a 50-50 chance I'm going to make this for you. And either way, you got to pay me. <laughs> yes, it's a very complicated burrito. 
There's also the chance that I make you the burrito and it kills you. Hey, I didn't order sour cream. I wanted guacamole. Well, you're only covered for sour cream, so if you want guac, it's $9,000. Oh my god, this place is terrible. Well, we're the only restaurant in the entire country, so we'll see you next time you need us. <laughs> <laughs> and you will need us. <laughs> We've made sure it will. Yeah, we're we... poisoning your food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Imagine ordering a burrito and you're, it kills you and your son has to pay for the burrito. <laughs> and inherited my dad's burrito <laughs> my burrito debt. <laughs> Isn't the burrito what killed him? Yeah, I don't know why I have to pay for it. <laughs> my dad was always swimming in burrito debt. <laughs> Never really got out of it. He just kept ordering burritos. <laughs> yeah, they, after, half the after, time, they didn't even give them to him. <laughs> <laughs> Took out so many burrito loans, we couldn't keep track of what was what. Did you get chicken and pork in that burrito? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we, got a, we got a second mortgage at our house to take out more burrito loans. <laughs> Was, I told him, he's like, man, we should just get insurance. And he's like, no, it's bullshit. <laughs> I, I got refuse. this guy, Uncle Tony. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tony, please, I need more burritos, Tony. This is a pasta household, and you know it. <laughs> we only eat pasta and pasta-related items. Tony, I'm sorry. He was... They snuck the carne asada, and I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought it was Italian sausage. I swear. People will even stay in a bad job for health insurance. Yeah, they're like, oh, thank God. If I hurt myself, I have enough insurance to help me get back on my feet so I can keep working here. To pay for my health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you have to choose between ruining your life and staying alive. <laughs> yeah, which, which really is better. <laughs> the other option is holistic medicine, though, which is definitely not the answer. Yeah, I want to go back to the medicine we had when people lived to the ripe old age of 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they were like, you know what's really good for diabetes? Crabgrass. Yeah, no, it isn't. Like, I don't think Magic Johnson stayed alive all this time because of meditation. Yeah, magic is not what saved magic. <laughs> yeah, it was medicine. <laughs> People got into holistic medicine because real medicine is so expensive. Nobody's first choice for medicine is apple cider vinegar and going outside. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a last resort. Yeah, everybody wants a doctor. Yoga <laughs> teachers aren't doctors. <laughs> Those crystals you were prescribed really go well with penicillin. <laughs> yeah, it's just cheaper to hold rocks than go to a doctor. <laughs> no, this quartz diagnosis. Me with, uh, <laughs> with nothing, I'm safe. With, no, with nothing, I'm still dying. I'm like, gonna die. Yeah, of course that rock did diagnose you. It's a rock. Well, when I hold the amethyst, I don't feel like I have cancer. No, no, I just got to make it 30 more days for when the stars align and uh, <laughs> this heart attack will go away. <laughs> Once the moon goes into Venus, then my uh, insurance for my job kicks in and I can go to a real doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. Right. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to smell sage anymore. <laughs> We were going to talk about dentists, but they're not really healthcare, right? Yeah, they're more the beauty industry. I hold dentists in the same regard as like a makeup artist. You know, it's like it's hard, but it's not medicine. <laughs> yeah, no rappers going to their doctor before a music video and like, hey, could you make like uh, my ribs like gold? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you put grills on my liver? <laughs> 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 Can I have a platinum uh, kidney? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just shine up my brain real quick? <laughs> There's a new designer ambulance that started up called Ambulance. It's like Uber for ambulances. They call themselves the on-demand ambulance. So, like an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ambulances are only on immediate demand. <laughs> if you schedule an ambulance, all they'll do is send the police. <laughs> They're like, I think this guy's going to murder somebody. <laughs> Should probably send someone over there and check that out. Like, yeah, I'd like to uh, schedule an ambulance for later today. Um, I'm going to stab my neighbor. <laughs> He's going to really need one of those. <laughs> yeah, just, I keep telling him, trim that tree, dude, and he won't listen. So, <laughs> 3.30, send it over. <laughs> 3 o'clock, I'm going to stab him. <laughs> What do you mean you're sending the cops? <laughs> <laughs> no, I asked for an ambulance. I'd schedule it. I'm scheduling it. This is I called. That's why. God, I should have got ambulance. <laughs> you can only test this app in a life or death situation. Somebody's dying and they're like, you know what? Why don't we try this new app? I've heard great things. Oh, wait. Hang on. I have to download it. Do you have Wi-Fi? Can we split the ride? You have to download it too. Wait, use my code. Let me find it. Let me find it. You know what? Never mind. I know it. It's ambulance backslash Rogan. If you use my code, I get twenty dollars in credit. The rides are five hundred dollars, but it adds up. Oh, and he's dead. Like, geez, surge prices are up. What happened? A bombing? <laughs> They're like, would you like to try again later when surge prices are down? You're like, no, I need an ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> this has to happen now. <laughs> an on-demand ambulance. <laughs> All right, I'm calling the real ambulance. Yeah, like... Exactly. <laughs> Can you patch me to nine one one, please? Because I think I should have called that first. Well, um, stay healthy. Yeah, stay healthy, go outside, make sure to rub your crystals a lot, because uh, doctors are expensive. Yeah, if, you, uh, if you're ever in a bad accident, um, try and die before you ever go to a hospital and uh, get all that crippling debt. <laughs> yeah, they charge you. Your family. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, there's a survival tax. If That's if a big gonna, thing. <laughs> if you're going to die, don't do it in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they let us into hospitals after this. Yeah, no doctors are listening to our podcast. I don't think we have anything to worry about. <laughs> if there are any doctors out there and you do like us, we both have terrible health insurance. If you want to take care of us, <laughs> yeah, still, that would be any, super uh, awesome. <laughs> These aren't good. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, doctors are the cops of the hospital. Don't. Don't go to one if you're don't, black. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, you know, um, eat your vegetables. Eat your vegetables. Go outside. Hey, if you weren't such a fat piece of shit, you wouldn't need the doctor. <laughs> how about that? So how about you go outside and fucking care about it a little bit? You haven't even heard of rest and sunlight. This is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, oh, I don't know why I'm so sick. I watch TV all day. My eyes hurt. <laughs> and I eat donuts for breakfast and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, thanks a lot. Um, if you got any uh, hookups for Oxycontin, I'm starting a pharmaceutical company. So, uh. Let me know. And I'm starting a mafia. <laughs> See you guys next time. Thank you guys for listening. You can follow the show at Two Dumb Babies on all social media. You can follow Eric at Eric J. Friedman and Willie at William F. Salmon. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we drop the animated episodes, behind the scenes, and additional content. New episodes drop every Monday. Please subscribe, rate, and leave a comment on the podcast. We'll see you all on another episode of Two Dumb Babies. Bye-bye, dummies.